a touch of 1,277 graduates have today received their academic honors from Kawa University, the only public university in Kigali sub-region, southwestern Uganda. I congratulate those persons whose names are being the ceremony that took place at the university campus ground was presided over by Professor Mondo Kagonyela, the Kaba University Chancellor. Out of today's graduates, 754 were male and 523 were female. This was the university's seventh graduation ceremony since it was declared a government university. <laughs> In her address to the congregation, Professor Joy Kwesiga, the university vice chancellor, said that a lot has improved since the university became public. She called upon the government for consideration to always return the consolidated funds, for at times they have been losing such money. We don't get it back as, as we should. For example, we are about to lose 3 billion shillings which was collected through fees because the year is about to end. Something that would like to, to get help and be able to get this money because it is collected from student fees. Teaching and learning is moving on very well and our e-learning program is, is progressing and improving as we go along. Professor Kwesigwa further revealed that Kaba University is in high job establishing a branch in Ukunji district at the former Ukunji Kwa Primary Teachers College to improve on the education of its learners. The former Ukunji Kwa Primary Teachers College is in advanced stages that will be a campus in Ukunji soon of Kaba University. would like to thank the Diocese of North Kigezi and the Minister of Education, which has already approved this process for availing us this chance. And we have approved the welfare of establishment or revival of the circle of Kabari University. Adson Kakuru, the University Council Chairperson, led graduates to become relevant and acquire more knowledge to boost their academic qualifications. You've learned a lot. In the university and all the schools you went through, but there's still a lot to learn in terms of uh, gaining skills to help you as you move on. Lifelong learning will also improve on the skills you already have. Things are changing, so you need to on the skills you have, you need to keep improving on your skills. When I'm talking about things changing rapidly, I've seen some people, I was with in the university, the professor in Agarhas, professor in Itwe. Most of us finished the university when you have not touched the keyboard of your computer. You can imagine now even people in nursery schools, pre-primary, they deal with computers everywhere. So, to keep, uh, understand that you need to keep life, wrong life learning so that you mark the changes and you continue moving with the changes. Professor Mondo Kagonyela, the Chancellor, asked the Kabbalah University community to ensure that the university serves the purpose for which it was established, especially on supplementing government efforts of implementing its policies. The Minister of Education is challenging the universities to actively participate in developing government policies and programs. Universities are centers which have the the most educated people, and even the monopoly of good brains, including young men and the students, in other words. Many of you don't realize how much knowledge you young men and women can produce while you are still students at the university. We at the university must actively look at what government policies are and if possible, be able to criticize them and advise on how to move forward. The universities play a very important role in the development of any society. Kagonya noted that without a clear purpose, a university loses meaning and becomes irrelevant to the community it serves, appealing to the university to always take up community engagement projects. As a university, what kind of community outreach do you conduct? Some universities have been referred to as ivory towers. Do we at Kaba University want to become yet another one? The answer, absolutely no. 
it is important for the communities where a university is located to be aware of the presence of the university. It is my understanding that the communities surrounding the Kabari provide essential services such as food and lodging to the university staff and the students. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Nevertheless, we must do more as an academic institution. As an example, land degradation in Kabari, soil erosion, are prevalent in the, not only in Kabari but in the whole of the Kikis region. What are we doing about staving this? If we want to avoid future catastrophe of starvation because of lack of food in this region. Some of the graduates expressed great joy for the day and vowed to use the skills they acquired in school to better their lives and society. <laughs> I'm so much excited and of course very happy to have achieved this in life. As you know, it's not always easy for everyone. My parents, my friends, my cosmetics have all contributed to my achievement of this. A story by Jorina Namara, Robert Ngamachi for Kigas TV. <laughs> is a success. I can't thank you enough, my team.